we are on the final part of the Hello Kitty Halloween parade and I want to say these videos so far have kind of been going well so thank you so much for your support um, so we've got the final two chapters to get through which will then wrap up our Halloween celebration month um, and this is the only Halloween book theme that I could find so I'm really excited to finish it with with you guys. So. Um, yes, all my videos are recorded on the same day, which is what I like to say. I'm sorry. That was the plan. Okay. Chapter five. Disaster. Later in the week, the day of the parade dawned bright and sunny. Hello Kitty bounced out of bed. Had they organised everything in time? She, Susie and Claudia had put Bunting out the day before and the grown-ups were doing the rest that morning. They had just had, had to do some final decorating of the prize table and hang up the blown up balloons. It was nearly all done. Hello Kitty put on some jeans and a t-shirt to travel in, then brushed her hair and put her costume in, in a bag. She was ready, time to go. As Hello Kitty arrived at the parade, she felt very proud. Everything looked totally super. The bunting blew gently in the wind and chairs and tables were all lined up. The grown-ups had set up a table to register people who were entering and a few people in costumes were already gathered around. There were mummies, rock stars, princesses and werewolves. There was even someone dressed as a giant pumpkin. Hello Kitty wondered where Claudia and Susie were and the band and the balloons. Then she felt a tap on her shoulder. Hello Kitty spun round. It was Tammy and Fifi. Hello Kitty couldn't keep the smile off her face as she saw her friends. And there they all are. Fifi was dressed in a blue skating dress with sparkly sequins that shone like diamonds. Tammy was wearing a witch's hat and cape and carrying a broom. They both looked amazing. They had come along early to see if Hello Kitty needed any help, Tammy explained. They were so thoughtful, Hello Kitty reached into her bag and pulled out Tammy's birthday present and passed it to her. She hoped Tammy liked it and she was sorry it was late. Tammy looked surprised and clapped her hands excitedly. She exclaimed in delight as she saw the stationery set. It was just what she wanted, but Hello Kitty shouldn't have got it for her, she said. She had already given her the playlist with Fifi. Tammy had been listening to it all the time. Well, that had been Fifi rather than her, explained Hello Kitty. And she knew how much Tammy liked the stationery set, so she thought she'd get it for her. Tammy gave her a big hug and Fifi joined in too. They both smiled at Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty was so pleased she winked at Tammy. She had another birthday surprise for her too, she told her. So, But Tammy would have to wait after the parade to find out what it was. Now though, Hello Kitty needed to go and find Susie and Claudia. She needed to find out where the balloons and band were. Fifi pointed at the table behind them. Wasn't that a load of balloons over there? Sure enough, there was a big pile of balloons and a pump. Pump string. None of the balloons had been blown up. Oh no, they had been supposed to be ready by now. What had happened? She glanced around. More and more people were arriving. Tammy and Fifi waved her away. She needn't sorry. They could blow them up while she and Susie and Claudia with no problem at all. Hello Kitty 
I like that he smiled gratefully and thanked them both. She hurried away to find the other girls when she saw them. Claudia and Susie were chatting by the judging table, so they called out hello when they spotted her. Hello Key waved and raced over. What had happened to the balloons? They weren't blown up. Susie gasped, the balloons, oh no, she clapped her hand to her mouth. She had completely forgotten she had started to race off to them, but Hello Kitty stopped her. Susie didn't need to worry, Hello Kitty's friends Fifi and Tammy were doing them. Phew. Susie let out a sigh of relief, that was so nice of them, but just then Hello Kitty thought of something else. Wasn't it funny that the thought of something else? Wasn't it funny that they couldn't hear the band yet? Claudia looked a bit confused. The band. Hello Kitty was puzzled. Hadn't Claudia been going to sort the band out? Didn't she remember? Claudia threw her hands in the air. Oh no, she had been so busy that she had forgotten. Hello Kitty was a bit worried. If there was no band and there'd be no music, f music for the play, whatever could they do? And then got the stage, hello, and played. They were going to have to tell the grown-ups. Susie and Claudia looked upset. Everyone had been so excited about the band. Claudia couldn't believe she had forgotten. Hello Kitty put an arm around her and fought hard. All of a sudden she remembered something Tammy had said earlier. That was it, she gasped and looked at them both and a smile crept over her face. It was all going to be okay. Chapter 6 Halloween Parade Hello Key was about to explain her plan to Claudia and Susie, but just then Fifi and Tammy raced over. There they were. Fifi and Tammy had been looking for the three of them. The balloons were all blown up and they had asked Hello Kitty's grandpa to hang them up. They'd put some streamers out on the table too. Fifi looked at Claudia and Susie. What was the matter? Hello Kitty started to explain that they had forgotten about booking the band, but it would be okay. Hello Kitty had an idea. Tammy had her music with her, didn't she? Tammy realised what Hello Kitty was thinking. I'll just show you the details. They could use her new playlist, it would be perfect. What a great idea, Fifi clapped her hands with happiness. Tammy got her music player out of her pocket. What were they waiting for? They needed to go and find one of the grown-ups. They all went to find them with Hello Kitty leading the way. Mama and Papa were talking to the main organiser of the parade. He was selling the tickets. Hello Kitty explained what had happened and that they were really sorry that there wasn't a band that they had thought they could use Tammy's music instead. Would that be okay? The man smiled down at them. That sounded fine. The sound system was all set up. Papa offered to go and make sure it all worked. And Hello Kitty hugged them all too. It was a pity about the band that they had done really well. Sorry, they had done really well by coming up with a solution so quickly. Susie and Claudia both pointed at Hello Kitty. She had saved the day, they said together. Hello Kitty blushed and shook her head firmly. It had been all of them. Fifi and Tammy had helped loads as well. She gave her other friends a grateful look as music blasted out from the speakers. It looked like the parade was about to start. Hello Kitty, Susie and Claudia quickly raced to get changed. When they were dressed, Claudia turned to Hello Kitty. Oh, her costume looked great, Hello Kitty smiled. She said she was going to find Fifi and Tammy. 
She wanted to surprise Tammy with her costume. Was that okay? Of course, Susie and Claudia both grinned. They would see them all later. Hello Kitty raced off to find her friends as the other girls ran off. There they were, Hello Kitty raced up and tapped Tammy on the shoulder. She turned around and gasped. Hello Kitty, who was dressed as a black cat. The perfect match to her to her witch costume. Tammy and Fifi both laughed and gave her a hug. Hello Kitty smiled. She was still sorry she had been busy organising everything, but she was glad that they were there with her too. Tammy and Fifi beamed at Hello Kitty. There was no need to be sorry. It didn't matter at all. Hello Kitty beamed right back at them. She had thought of a new friendship club wall. What was it? Fifi and Tammy both asked easily, so she told them. Good friends walk in when other people walk out. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty explained that while other, other people could be friends too, this new, new rule meant that your good friends were always there for you, even when other people forgot. And now it was time to get marching. They glanced around at the people parading down the street. There was every kind of Halloween costume you could think of, from monsters and football players to superheroes and dinosaurs. Minnie was dressed as a princess, while Tammy's brother, Tammy brother Timmy was a robot and the giant pumpkin was marching along with his legs sticking out the bottom of his costume he looked so funny everyone was celebrating and the sound of excited laughter filled the air hello kitty Fifi and Tammy joined in dancing along lots of people had turned out to line the streets and cheer Hello Kitty never wanted it to end, but all too soon they reached the finishing line and it was time for the winner of the best costume to be announced. Grandpa and Miss Davy had made their decision and the winner is, in first place, it was the giant pumpkin. He had most definitely earned his cup. Minnie came in second with her princess costume and in third place it was Tammy. Hello Kitty and Fifi cheered. As Tammy went up to collect her prize, a big box of chocolates as Tammy was at the front. Grandpa made another announcement. It had been Tammy's birthday this week too. Would everyone please join in singing happy birthday to her? He stepped aside and there was Tammy's enormous surprise birthday cake. Tammy gasped and turned to Fifi and Hello Kitty. She looked embarrassed but also delighted as everyone sang to her and then she cut the cake. Tammy ran over to where Fifi and Hello Kitty were grinning. That had been the best birthday surprise ever and now it was time for the cake. Hello Kitty hugged her. That wasn't what friends were for. Fifi and Tammy cheered. Hello Kitty hugged them both again. What a super day it had turned out to be. The end. Thank you so much for watching and good night.